a quick example how uh, the new changes will be reflected in the rescue groups process. Um, so first we need to add an animal and here one change. First of all, I can remove half of the fields that I think are not needed. But let's go through like this process to so I can show like a few changes. Say so we'll add a cat and say it's like going through um, say it's on hold so for now. One thing here is that I suggest that we record the cats using the hashtag count equals and then number of cats, say like there are three, three kittens. Um, let me just make sure that everything else is fine. And yes, the, this can can be used for indicating the rescuer. And I'll do save. And then uh, our primary breed. So one additional thing at this point that the volunteer rescuer will have to do is to go to intakes and add intake for this animal and then decide like decide which one. So if it's a regular stray pickup, it can be a stray pickup or stray drop off. Uh, if it's ACC, it's going to be transfer. Uh, it's going to be owner surrender for, for the return cats or the new cats that owners brings in or born rescue shelter. If it's a TNR, it's gonna be straight pickup. So say that, that we found those kittens or someone found and call, called us. So this is for this animal. Uh, you will indicate when the kittens were found, say on Friday. Then you'll need to indicate who found them. I added a few contacts, but say like uh, this is like the test contact for volunteer um, but here it can be Claire or Ilet then you'll have to enter the address at least approximately I'll just enter mine and then in the notes here you can at this point record the district using hashtag district say it's like 31 and you can use this this tool that I shared the the map <clears throat> um, to indicate which district it is I'm actually demonstrate it District map widget. So say the 90 Tompkins Avenue, Brooklyn. You need to enter the address and then the borough. So it's the District 36. And then you save it. So you see this the entry of this intake, and um, so there's like, like all intakes. But for this cat, you see this profile that I just created. There is one intake recorded here. And eventually there will have to be an outcome for this intake. So it's when either the cat is adopted or released back. 
uh, you can record actually I think even on the intake you can go here no, you can't do it here but you can go back to the CAD and go to outcomes and say like there is a submitted agreement, it's been approved, and then the SCAT is getting adopted. Then usually what you do, as I understand, like... You have submitted forms, I'll just find my test one, say this one, and I'll edit it. this one and say we'll link it to this CAD that I just created Task and Dimitri, so and yeah, that's the form, and it says it's adopted. There are like there are answers on this form, and yeah, so let's go back to this cat. You can see there is one submitted form here. At this point, I understand that you added the cat, you updated to adopted. Yeah, I think I'll just do it to available. I think you do it through adoption. So once the form is submitted, then you, I think, enter adoption for this animal. And then adopter would be, say, adopter profile, also test profile that I created. And then say the cat was adopted yesterday. And here you can link the submitted form that was done. And save. So this way, if you go back to the animal task at Dimitri, the status automatically changed to adopted. The application is linked to adopter and owner is uh, Dimitri Adopter. And at this point, one additional thing you'll have to do is to go to Outcomes and add an outcome. And just add when outcome happened. Adoption is already linked for this cat. And here, say you can link Again, district equals, say, 45 um, on the outcome. So it means the cat ended up in this district and save. That's it. Those are the additional chains. So ad additions to this process, it's adding the cat count using hashtag. <clears throat> and then when adding an animal, also add an intake and indicate uh, when it happened and who and when it happened. And then once you add an adoption, link the submitted agreement, 
then one additional thing you'll have to do is to on outcomes create an outcome for this in, in input intake uh, where you'll again indicate when it happened and the type of outcome uh, if it's a TNR you would use release <clears throat> If uh, it's an owner who found the cat claiming the back, it will be returned to owner. It can be euthanasia. Uh, so not only adoption, but all types of outcome for all cats that go through you and then leave the care will be recorded this way. Uh, that's it.